Let me take this stupid thing off. It is COVID, but my cameraman is definitely within feet of distance for social distancing. So, <laughs> um, I'm Coach Jay Hyler, if you don't already know. What we're gonna show you how to do today is how to properly perform the straight arm pull down, particularly with a rope. First thing I wanna say about this is make sure that your rope is long enough, I would say above 12 inches if you can find one, simply because when you do the pull down, you wanna make sure that you can get your hands as far behind your back as humanly possible. Now, what you need to understand from a functional perspective is the lat, the teres major, and the sternal head of the pectoralis major, they all work together to perform three very specific functions, okay? And it goes beyond this if we're talking about inhalation and all this stuff, but we're just focusing on the movement that we can get some gains in, okay? So the first thing that they do is with the humerus bone, which is the upper arm bone, it helps to medially uh, rotate the humerus, okay? It also helps with adducting the humerus, so bringing it down or bringing it closer to the midline of the body. And then it also helps all of these, these three muscle joint combinations, they also work together to help with extension of the humerus at the glenohumeral joint. Okay, so all of that stuff happens. So what you need to do to be a smart lifter is combine as many movements as possible to load those functions. Now, one more thing before I get started is you have to make sure that you always keep a slight bend in your elbow, okay? Why a slight bend? Because the actual power and ability of extension and adduction is the strongest when there is a soft bend in the elbow. So you will always see that my elbows are softly bent no matter what, no matter how far I extend. Now extension, right? This is something that we need to focus on here. We're only going to extend as much as we can without disengaging the lat. What do I mean by that? Well, I can easily extend my arms up and overhead really high if I wanted to, but to do that I would also have to lift my lats and my shoulders and my traps in order for that to happen. But if I keep my lats engaged, which means that I keep the lat and the shoulder smashed against one another, that means that my shoulders have to remain down and back, my chest has to remain tall, and then with that, I just have to stretch as far as I can. For me, that's this. Now watch this carefully. Derek, kind of look at my back with that camera and zoom in. I can't get any further than this if my shoulders are down, but check this out. If I lift my shoulders, wow, we have immediate extra range of motion. In this case, that is a false range of motion that you do not want to deal with because you are literally focusing away from the lat and now you're involving more of the glenohumeral joint because again, we're focused on the lat. We just know that those three muscle and joint combinations, they just work together to make these functions possible. With that being said, let's see what the movement looks like. So, what we're doing here is we're gonna stay at roughly a 30 to 45 degree angle, which is about here. I have a hip hinge going, okay? So my hips are back, my abs are tight, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, lift my hands and arms, humerus, right, upper arm bone, as high up as I possibly can without disengaging my lat, and then I'm going to inhale, keeping my chest nice and tall, and pull this rope behind me as far as it possibly can. So we have abduction here, boom, that's the stretch up and overhead, and then adduction, boom is getting those ropes as far behind me as humanly possible, keeping the elbow nice and bent throughout the entire movement. Now notice it's not one of these bends, we're not trying to exaggerate that, it's just a soft bend. Now breathing is also essential for the function, okay? So going back to the function, the lats, they help with inhalation, okay? 
So as we are doing the concentric movement, which is driving the handles down, that means that you're gonna inhale and expand your chest and your rib cage open as you are pulling those ropes down towards your body and um, hopefully behind your back, depending on your range of motion. So now this is without talking, we're just gonna dive in. Now I'm gonna keep going partially. My range of motion is dead, I can't go any further there. So we're just gonna hammer it until partially I cannot uh, perform the movement with good form. And that is how you do the straight arm pull down properly.